So now we're going to create a dramatic look that's sultry, but we're going to emphasize the lips rather than the eyes. Sometimes if you don't want to do a smoky eye, but you still want to have a dramatic look, this is the perfect solution. So the first thing I do is I have a little bit of foundation on my brush and I just go over the lips lightly. You don't want to put tons of foundation on the lips, but you do want it to be nice and clean and bare. So a nice trick is whatever feature is going to be the most prominent, do that one first. So even though her eyes aren't done, I'm going to go ahead and do her lips first because that's going to be the part of her face that's really going to stand out. So of course there's bright red, the red that everyone thinks of when they think of red lipstick, but there's so many other fun colors out there. I'm going to do sort of a vino wine color. If you want to use a lip pencil, you're welcome to, but because I'm using a lip brush, I'm going to get the same kind of precision. So what I like to do is have them blot and then repeat it again just to give a little more staying power, especially if you're going to go out for the night. You don't have to worry about reapplying so often. So what I like to do then is with a different lip brush, dip it in a little bit of concealer and just run it around the edges just to kind of sharpen it up. Gets rid of any mistakes you might have made. Okay, so on the cheeks and the eyes, we're going to keep it really, really soft and neutral. So I'm going to take a very neutral blush. You can take even a bronzer if you want to and just go ahead and put it on the apples of the cheeks so it kind of highlights the lipstick. You can see there's a relationship going on between the two colors that I picked. Then taking just a little bit of translucent powder and a puff, I'm going to dip it into the powder. We're going to get rid of any shine that she might have. Okay, you don't really have to do anything on the eyes. You could do a little bit of liner and some mascara, which she already has on. But just to kick it up one notch, I'm gonna dip my brush into a mid-tone brown, and I'm just gonna define the crease just a little bit. Don't wanna do too much or it starts to compete with the rest of the face, but it does kind of tie the color palette all together. So there is a really dramatic, sultry look, but instead of playing up the eyes, we played up the lips but I think it still has an equal impact. I love this look. And so don't be afraid of bright, bold lips. Try it at home. I think you'll like it.